have you resonated with much of the new scientific evidence released by neuroscience recently, which has proved that under the right conditions, the body has the power to heal itself even from the most incurable illnesses. Isn't it amazing? I found this um, evidence quite amazing. But what they also say that under the right conditions. So what are these right conditions? And how do we create these right conditions? This is what I was uh, I have been interested in and studied about. So let's keep looking. And more importantly, that we can facilitate natural healing by understanding the energy of the process, especially the energy of our emotions, the real causes of most illnesses, symptoms, pains, aches, and conditions. And yes, the real causes of most problems that we have health-wise is um, our deep ingrained emotions that you don't, most people, they are not aware that they're using these emotions to run their life because these emotions are embedded, ingrained in their cells and maybe in become cellular memories and become their patterns that they use to live their life on. So the proof of healing uh, is the, the number one is spontaneous remission project. So you can look no further than the spontaneous remission project, a database from the Institute of Native Science with over 3,500 case studies in their medical literature of patients who recovered from seemingly incurable illnesses without medical treatment or treatment that is, that is considered inadequate to produce a disappearance of symptoms, illnesses, and problems. Um, I recommend you to go there and have a look at these 3,500 case studies. And I personally um, looked at all uh, of these case studies uh, one by one. And I was surprised to find um, everything was there. Stage four cancers, motor neuron illnesses, uh, multiple sclerosis, severe depression, even rare genetic disorders in this list. And you can read the people's names, uh, what they had and what they did to heal themselves without medical treatments or treatment that uh, was considered inadequate to produce such significant healing. And also when you, uh, when you look through these cases, uh, you will find some common features that people have, uh, people who recovered from um, illnesses. And it's what I noticed that uh, what people did, they basically rebalanced their energy. So healing is energetic. Um, if you manage to rebalance your subtle body energy and bring yourself uh, in the total balance with your environment, with your family, with your relationships, and relationship with yourself. It's how people heal. Rebalancing your energy. And the other interesting fact, the placebo effect, which is a thorn in the side of the medical establishment, because the effectiveness of all drugs is tested against the placebo drugs before medicines are released for public use. And we have known this since 1950s, that if you give people a fake treatment or a sugar pill, a saline injection, or most effect effectively fake surgery, People ask me, what is fake surgery? Fake surgery is when you go into the operating theater and anesthetic, anesthetic is given to you, you are unconscious. And um, they make a cut on your skin, but don't remove anything from the inside. 
and put stitches back on, like stitches on your skin. So a patient believe that they had surgery, but they actually didn't. And look at the statistic. 18 to 80% 80 of the time, people get better. It's a huge number, 18 to 80%. 80 and it's not just in their mind, but in their body. And this is measurable. It means uh, the improvement healing is not actually just psychological, but it's in the body. Uh, for example, patients getting placebos were found uh, to have ulcers that healed, colons that became less inflamed, bronchi that dilated, warts that disappeared, and biopsy cells look different under microscope. So biopsy cells, it's all about cancer. So cancer cells look totally different after placebo treatment. So uh, when I run my workshop and I tell them about placebo, I usually ask this question. So let me ask you a question right now. Um, to, ask you, to, to ask this question, I want you to visualize that you got illness. Well, say so just cancer, okay? Uh, you got cancer, uh, you went to doctors, and they sent you to have chemotherapy because it's uh, one of the most common treatment for cancer, okay? So you went through the chemotherapy, you completed the whole process, you finished it, and um, you recovered. Uh, you got much, much better after chemotherapy, but after recovery, nurses and doctors told you, but look, you actually didn't have chemotherapy. Every time you came to have chemotherapy, they gave you uh, intravenously saline injections, salty water injections, but you believed it was chemotherapy and you got better. So my question to you now, who and what healed you? It, it, it was not doctors because they, they didn't do anything. They gave you salty water injections. And it was not the treatment. You just had salty water, normal saline. Every time you came here, to came to the hospital, who and what healed you? Think about that. Um, many people give me answers like uh, the body healed itself, uh, like um, mind healed the body. And this is all fine. This is all correct. But maybe only partially correct. Because if you decide that I do nothing, I will sit in my butt and I will not go to hospital, I will not see anybody and let it run, the illness run on its own, you probably still would be sick. The cancer still will be in your body and you will not get better. You had to go through the whole process of chemotherapy to get better, finish it to get better. Why in this case, uh, if you just decide to do nothing, your body will not heal on its own. You have to go through a process. Well, the correct answer uh, to this question, who and what healed you in case of placebo is faith. Deep, unconditional faith in the treatment. You unconditionally believed that this was proper chemotherapy and unconditional trust in the authorities who gave you the treatment, you believed it was proper doctors. You had no doubt in the healing and in the people who gave you the treatment. This is called faith. And um, many people say uh, beliefs um, in the healing. Yes, beliefs are right. But why I don't like to use the word beliefs because 
people's beliefs change. If they talk to one doctor, they, you know, their beliefs change to what doctor was saying. They talk to another specialist and it may be different information and their belief change. Then they read something on internet, an article, uh, which talks about totally different things. And their belief is changing again. Then they talk to a friend, a family member, and all this information is different. So their beliefs changing all the time. So, but it's beliefs, still beliefs. So what I found, that beliefs that changing all the time will not produce physical result in the body. Faith does. Faith is when you unconditionally believe in the treatment and maybe in, in people who give you treatment. Uh, and it's unconditional. You don't have any doubt in the healing. This is why I love to use uh, the word faith because it's unconditional. Uh, being a medical doctor and now I'm working as a healer, I have many clients come to me uh, because they want to heal themselves and they have very difficult problems like uh, maybe cancer, autoimmune illnesses, uh, illnesses that considered incurable. Every time I uh, such difficult um, people, like people with difficult problems, come to me, I ask them a question to every client, basically. Uh, I ask them, do you personally believe that you can heal yourself? In most cases, they answer this way. They say, look, Arena, I hope that I can heal myself, my illness. But look at the conventional medicine. Look at the society. Look at the tribe. People around me, media, internet. But they all believe that my illness is incurable. So what they have, they have hope in one hand and they have doubt in one hand, in another. So, and the hope that they have has no power because the power attached to the tribe, people around you, the society. So these people have hope without power and fears or doubt with power because power is connected to other people. And which side <clears throat> do you think win? But the side that has power always win. This is the reason why a lot of people don't heal. Because they have hope without power and fears or doubt uh, with power. And the side that has power always win. They still can. But they need to change the energy dynamic. They need to give all the power to hope and release all the fears and doubt. They need to have faith in healing. And faith in healing is a fundamental um, energy which uh, is requirement for healing. And having faith in healing is just believing that the universe always guides me to find balance in through the illness. This is what you need to believe in, that the universe always um, guides us to find balance in through the illness. <laughs>